Hi guys, today we are solving a greedy algorithm problem from HackerRank and it's called Mark and Toys. So here we have a guy called Mark who's trying to buy toys for his kids, but he has a limited amount of cash. So let's assume here that in this challenge, the uh, currency is the US dollar. Now we are given this array called prices, one, two, three, four. It contains only integers and then Mark has the amount seven, maximum amount to spend. You can see K equals seven. Now, how many toys can Mark buy? He can buy three toys or he could buy two toys, one, two, and three. The total amount will be six, so he can afford it. But the other option is to purchase three and four. So the amount will be seven and it's also equal to the amount that he has to spend. But then buying three toys is obviously more than buying two toys. And here, what he wants to do is buy the maximum amount of toys with the uh, the amount that he has to spend. So we need to write a function that takes in an array or a vector here. You can see I'm passing it by reference. It takes a vector of integers uh, corresponding to the prices and K. K here is an integer corresponding to the amounts that Mark has to spend. So this is a sample input. You can see that we have the prices here, seven prices corresponding to the prices of toys and 50, which is the amount that Mark has to spend. And then we have to check how many toys can he buy? Well, the maximum amount that he can purchase with that amount is four. In this case, the uh, prices will be one, 12, five, and 10. Now we want to solve this problem in linear time. So I'm going to sort this array first using the uh, sort function in C++. And then I'm going to pass in the beginning and the ends of the prices Victor. So these returns iterators, you have seen me use that uh, many times in my previous videos. And now that we've sorted this, I want to have two integers. The first one is going to be spent corresponding to how much he has spent and also num corresponding to the number of toys that he can buy, the maximum number of toys that he can buy. Now I can loop through uh, my prices vector for every price inside of my prices vector, I want to check if the amount that he has spent so far, plus the current price that I'm processing is less than or equal to the maximum amount that he has to spend. Then I want to update my spent variable to record or register that uh, purchase or that transaction. So spent will be equal to the current spent amount plus the current price of the toy. And I want to increment the value of my num variable by one, meaning that he has purchased one item, or you can see he has purchased one more uh, toy. We also need to check from the moment this fails, once this evaluates to false, like it's no longer true that he can spend because he has no more cash left, then we want to exit our loop. We don't need to process the rest of the loop if he has no more money to spend. That's why we use this break statement here. Now that we are done, we can simply return the value of num, just like that. So that's pretty much it for the code. Let me run this. If I did not make any mistake, it should run fine, I believe. And you can see that we pass this test case. We also got four like they did here. We pass the test case one and test case two. Something to keep in mind is that the uh, input is not always sorted. That's why I use the sort function here so that we can solve this in linear time. In other words, the time complexity of this algorithm is O of N. I'm going to simply submit this code just to confirm that we were able to pass all the uh, test cases and we did. So um, that's all for me here. If you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel to support it. You give this video a thumbs up, turn on your notifications as a subscriber. I'll catch you next time. Bye.